Welcome back to NBA Today. I'm Malika Andrews. So trade season it is right around the corner and in to give us more on this is our front office insider Mr. Bobby Marks. Welcome Bobby. So I want to start with Damian Lillard who publicly remains committed to Portland. But is there any scenario where you could see the Blazers moving him? I don't, Malika. I think even with all the losing going on in, in Portland, Lillard has been committed as, fa as saying that he wants to fix what's going on there and he wants to be part of you know, the future. Of course, all, as I said, all of this losing does take a toll and you know, he could march in there to interim dro uh, GM Joe Cronin's office one day and say, I want out, but I don't see that happening right now. Is that a situation that maybe gets addressed in the offseason? Perhaps. But for right now, I think Lillard, when we get past February 10th, is in a uh, trailblazer uniform. Well, and Dame has proven that sort of when he speaks on these things, he tends to then back it up. So let's move to the Wizards, who are in the midst of a little bit of a slump after a hot start to the season. But how are they looking at approaching this trade market? Yeah, it's ironic. Ever since I said it was the greatest trade in NBA history, <laughs> I think Washington's gone four and four and ten, and they're one and six in the last seven games. And uh, Bradley Beal uh, was on with Chris Haynes on his podcast and has, has said that he there's no rush to sign this extension. He is going to evaluate where this team is going to be, certainly where they are, certainly when it's get closer to the trade deadline. Uh, the likelihood is that he does become a free agent and evaluates all his options. The benefit, though, from that Westbrook trade is that they have you know four or five players, either in Spencer Dinwiddie and, and Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, that are now you know tradable instead of having one player that's mm. earning $44 million. So there's trade assets out there, and I think if you're Tommy Shepard, you're going to look to make a move because you cannot be content on this team just being a play-in team. Well, I cannot let you go without talking about the New York Knicks. So do they have any flexibility here to make a move? Yeah, I talked to someone close to the organization last night, and they said something startling. We don't know what our identity is right now. And when you're 30 games into the season and you don't know what your identity, in, it, identity is, you are in trouble. Yes, they do have moves out there as far as when you look at certainly Kemba Walker who has not played they have a lot of controllable contracts whether it be Derrick Rose, Nerlens Noel, Alec Burks, uh, Julius Randle can't be uh, traded until early February. They've got a Dallas pick, a Charlotte pick, they own all their picks but I don't know if this is a win now team that's sitting right outside of the top 10. Money moves marks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you joining us. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.